Hi guys, welcome to Dave Downey's Fly Fishing World Fly Time video YouTube page. Uh, today I'm going to do a nice little simple spatler, uh, a little one that we used on Rutland a lot. It was actually my pal Greg Ainsworth that came up with it. Uh, great top dropper fly, you can tie it on a double, we prefer to fish it on a single. One thing about a spatler is we like to fish it small, I'm tying it on a size 10. Camasan 175 for the camera, but normally we would tie it on a 14 or a 12. Now, I've already tied one up that I'll show you in a minute, but it is really just a simple spatler. And, and for you know, we use it on Loch Leaven, we used to use it on Rutland a lot. For the hook, as I said, B175, nice strong hook, size 14, 12, 10s. We're using the sheer thread again, 14 0 in black. We're going to need some. Unimiler, the gold silver, as you can see, it's uh, one size gold, one size silver. I'm using sort of medium size, number 14. I'm going to be tying this one with a gold body, but you can do it with a silver as well. So we need some gold wire, uni again. So that's small, upside down there. Uh, for the tail and for the wing, we're going to need some silver and gold mix. And that's what I use on my Rutland Spartler. It's my own materials. All the materials are available on the website. So let's get started. So take a thread, tie it in, run it back down. I say it's a really simple pattern to do, really easy. Cut that. Now we want to get a bit of flash. We only need maybe 20 strands or so. So just get it a nice little bit and cut. I always cut it at the top of the hank because I'm going to obviously tie more than one fly. So I'm going to use more than that amount. And what I then want to do, easier, you just run it through your mouth and wet it. To work with, so you can see it's protruding, protruding quite far over the front. So catch it in. So many wraps forward. Then lift that up and take the thread forward. Okay, then catch it in again. That way, what you find with flash is that it tends to spin a lot. If you, it's almost like deer hair. It will spin if you just tie it. Try to tie it in straight. So I've done a section on top, then a section underneath, then a section top going forward, now I'm going to go back and that will trap it. Also notice I've left a gap at the front to the eye of the hook. I'm not wanting to tie it right in. So back again. Now at this point we want to get our gold wire. It says you can use silver wire or vice versa. You know Greg used to mess it up a bit, he would maybe have a silver body and a gold wire rib or a gold body and a silver wire rib or gold and gold and silver and silver. But for this one we're going to do gold. So whatever colour you want to tie with, so if you're going to tie with the gold you must tie it in with the silver facing you. Tie that in and vice versa and back up. Now even though we're going to be Securing it with wraps of wire. I still like to put a bit of varnish on the thread just to give it that extra grip. And I've still got fly th this fly in my box that we, we tied 20 years ago, and they're still in one piece. So I just take the mylar body up and just stop it. I've left a gap again, as you can see, just behind the tinsel. Tie it in and then trim that off. And take the wire. I like to go away from me with the wire when I'm wrapping it. I'm not, I don't think there's any benefit in going the opposite way. So I always like to just go with it. And I don't have any problems with my flies falling apart. Okay, tie that in. Two, three, Four, and just give it a shake and it should break off okay 
Now, next thing what we want to do, we get a thread in front of the flash that we've got for the wing, and then simply grab and then pull that forward, make a loop so you know what length you want the wing at, then catch that in. And tie it in. Then we're just going to trim carefully that we don't cut thread. And I probably will. Trim that bit off. Trim that bit off. Then just bind it down. Tidy it up. So just tidying the head of the fly up. That gives you a smaller, neater head on your sparkle. And same again, whip finish, whip finish, and then trim. Now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the wing up, and I'm going to get it as close to that edge as possible, and then cut. And then keep the tail out of the way. Okay, bring it, bring it, bring it, and then just cut. And then with the tail, what I want to do is take it on a line with the wing. I don't want the tail longer. I just want it like one continuation so it's an arc shape. And the bit of tinsel flash that's left, just wet it, put it to the side. That's your next fly. So you can see there that the wing's fan shaped. And when you pull that, it'll compress. When you let go, the wing will open up again. It's a fantastic fly, especially if you're wanting a really small spatler. And sometimes the fish want those little pin fry. Just varnish the head. And then just get a little bit of wire. Clear the eye. That's you. That says fantastic fly. Uh, I was just going to show you the one I done earlier, just for what a contrast. This one's been done with fluorescent orange thread, so you end up with a fluorescent orange head. Some people prefer it that way. I prefer the black one, but they both work. But thanks for watching anyway. Remember, you can get all the materials, you can get the advice from Fly Fishing World. Uh, you'll get the web address at the end of the video, and share the videos. Let other people see them and hopefully you'll be catching a lot of fish. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.